Um, I'm just lay out the yeah. Here. yeah, no, it's, it's working. Uh, just whatever you want to have. Just make sure that it doesn't stop. So the first time it's like. Welcome to our extended edition of today's Local Spins on WICE. We've got a special in-studio guest. Rebecca Ruth has graciously allowed me to sort of elbow into her part of Friday afternoon today because we have a bunch of guys in the studio who are going to be playing a big show tonight at the intersection. Welcome, Billy Strings and your band, Local Spins on WICE. Yay! Good to be here. Great. Glad to see you guys made the trip down today. Uh, you've had a very exciting, action-packed year, Billy. Uh and it's interesting for a lot of people that might not be familiar with your journey. You were, you know, raised in Ione. You ended up spending a lot of time in Traverse City, ended up moving to Nashville, and you've really almost been touring nonstop ever since. Tell us a little bit about your last year and, and what it's meant for you to get the attention you've been getting here nationally. Ah, oh, it's, I mean, it's my dream, and it's all coming true. We've just been rambling around uh, playing lots of gigs, got a killer band, uh, making lots of friends. It's just... It's awesome. I mean, we're loving it out here. So on the, on, in the studio with us today, Billy has also got another Billy on banjo, Billy Failing, Royal Massat on bass, Jared Walker on mandolin, and John Malander on fillet fiddle. This is sort of like a superstar band. Um, I'm curious, when you, get, when you get together and you play, how much jamming is involved and how much are you playing just the songs from start to finish? Oh, there's a lot of jamming involved. It's, uh, a lot of our songs kind of have, you know, there's an outline, and we go on either side of that sometimes but you know there's a finish line we all try to get there <laughs> <laughs> at the same time <laughs> whatever happens during the race man it's every man for himself or it's all of us together it's it's a uh, it's just a lot of fun but yeah um you know we have little arrangements that kind of maybe if we get into an improvisational space might uh uh, kind of tell the other members, okay, I'm thinking that we'll get out here, you know? Sure. So little, you know, sometimes it happens, it happens naturally over playing hundreds of gigs. So, you know, one night you do some little trick on your guitar and the rest of the band really heard you. And then the next night or the night after that, you, oh man, I remember that thing I pulled off on Wednesday and it was really cool. So you try to imitate it again, even though it was never recorded or thought or planned out or talked about, now it's become an actual thing. So we're developing musical ideas in real time. Speaking of hundreds of gigs, how many performances have you done this year alone? I can't count. <laughs> I know you've been across the country, indeed. Yeah. So it's a little different, though, when you get in the studio and you have to kind of contain yourself. You recently released Turmoil and Tinfoil, full-length album, and uh, it's gotten a little bit of a buzz, I would have to say, nationally from Rolling Stone magazine, a lot of other outlets as well. Uh, how did you approach this particular project being your first full-length, real sort of solo thing? I, I don't know, man. I just had the tunes. You know, I had the songs. Um, a few of the songs kind of hanging there, and I decided to keep working on those, and then I wrote a few, you know, for the album, and um, I'm really not sure. I just wanted to 
get the songs that I had written out there. So those are the ones that I chose from the batch that I had, you know? And you mentioned that your songwriting is you're trying to work hard on like honing that craft. It's hard. You know, I'm a very timid writer, I must admit. And like in, in the past years, you know, I've been embarrassed to show somebody a song I wrote or, you know, worried that it's not good enough or this or that. And I'm just trying to, break free of that and just be free and play music because that's what I love to do. And, you know, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. It's my song. That's what it is. Well, let's hear some Billy Strings and band. What are you going to kick off things we'll to? We'll do the title track, Man, Turmoil and Tinfoil. All right, here we go. Billy Strings for Local Spins on WYCE.
Can't think of a better way to kick off a Friday afternoon after Thanksgiving than that. Billy Strings in studio here at WYCE for local spins on WYCE. The band will be performing tonight at the intersection starting at 8 o'clock. I know there are tickets still available, but they've been going fast. A lot of interest in this show, as a matter of fact. And Billy, you know, you're a Michigan-bred guy, and I can tell you that West Michigan wants to claim you as its own. Uh, So you made the move to Nashville. Why did you decide to do that, and how has that sort of shaped what you're doing now? Check out these dudes I got with me, man. <laughs> John Mylander on the fiddle, Billy Failing on the banjo, Royal Massat on the bass, Jared Walker on the mandolin. I, uh, I didn't meet John Mylander in Nashville, but everybody else here I met in Nashville. Um, and it's just such a great community down there. I got so many good friends that are musicians and that tour around in different bands. And, you know, when we all get home in Nashville, we get together and pick. And it's... I can't, it's hard to even explain how, you know, if you're there, if you're like around East Nashville, you know what we're talking about. But it's just a really special community right now. So much going on with young musicians like ourselves. And it's great to be a part of that, you know. Sure. Now, how do you view things when you come back home? You're playing another show on Saturday up in Traverse City area, up in northern Michigan as well. Um, how do crowds respond when you come back? Michigan is always the best. You know, Michigan and Colorado, it seems like um, you walk on stage and you can just feel it. You know, people are singing the lyrics to the songs and it's just, it's like, man, these people are really ready for some live music. All we got to go, you know, it's all teed up. All you got to do is hit the ball. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, um, you know, I know you continue to perform with your dad once in a while. And, and But I'm curious, just growing up in the environment that you grew up with, how important was that to set the stage for where you are now? I mean, you grew up around this music. Yeah, well, that's how I cut my teeth, you know, and I learned. So I would say it was very important. It's the most important thing in my life, this music. You know, my dad taught me bluegrass when I was a kid, and and I've kept it going. And I'll never stop. (laughs) And I think a lot of these guys, the same, you know. We all kind of started young and younger. And I know Jared here has been playing since you were a small, pretty young, right? Seven or eight. Yeah, eight years old he started playing the mandolin, so... A lot of experience there, even though we're still young, young dudes, relatively, 25 years old and around that, you know. And how about the bluegrass community nationally? How, is that, how has that accepted you, and what, what's been your reaction when you're traveling around the country and people are starting to talk about Billy Strings? Well, the bluegrass community, we sort of freak them out, I think. <laughs> um, but the music community, Americana in general, you know, bluegrass, every, everything, we're, we're kind of... We swim in all the ponds, you know. I don't, it's not just bluegrass festivals, it's jam band festivals and, you know, whatever, whoever will have us. And, and I've kind of strong, like kind of strayed away from being just bluegrass, you know, as that song you just heard, that's certainly, I don't think you'd hear Monroe's band playing anything like that, but that's okay because it's not a Bill Monroe song, it's a Billy String song. And indeed, uh, parts of that album have a very psychedelic flavor to it, in my view. Yeah. Where does that come from? Oh, I like, you know, I don't know. I, I was raised by two hippies, man. <laughs> um, I, I listened to a lot of Jimi Hendrix and, and, and uh, Led Zeppelin and stuff like that growing up, too. And those albums, you know listen to a Led Zeppelin record and and the stuff that they were doing, just moving the microphones around in different places. Let's try recording the drums here in this, you know, reverb hall. That'll sound cool or, you know. Um, what was that when the Levy Breaks thing that they did with, like, with the drums on that just right. sounds so cool. You know, just experimenting in the studio like that instead of just saying, okay, this is just a bluegrass album. We're going to cut it nice and dry and no reverb or anything. I say, man put some reverb on it and i don't put some distortion on it even sometimes uh just to experiment well it's interesting because i think green sky bluegrass does that too in terms of not wanting to stand still always wanting to figure out a different way to put a spin on their music i know you've performed with them on stage as well and, and it seems like younger audiences are very much attuned to that and are very much interested in hearing sort of that genre blending, genre melding stuff that's going on. Yeah, it's all just music, man. It's, 
you know, it feels good. You you go play and people are dancing and you're playing and everything's, you know, there's a connection between the audience and the the band playing. And when we can close that gap, you know, we'll go on to some improvisational jam and, and take these people out on a little ride. And they're, if they're right there with us, you know, it's it's really an incredible thing. It, it turns into all of us in the room, not like the band on stage and the audience, but it's just all of us here doing this thing. Um, and that's what we try to do. I try to interact as much as I can. You know, if I see somebody in a Star Wars shirt, I might play a little Darth Vader lick or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> sure. Just stuff like that. Trying to just, I don't know, play music and have fun. Right. Well, let's play some more music and have fun right here in Studio X. What else do you have up your sleeve? I will do another one off the album. This one's called While I'm Waiting Here. All right, here we go. Billy Strings for Local Spins on WYCE. Thank you so much, John. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> It's been over 30 days I've not received a letter now My fingernails are chewed down to the bone So many different ways I've tried to say I'm sorry While I'm left here in this 8 by 10 alone It's not the four walls moving in that tortures me It's not the cold cement that shivers down my spine It's just them visions in my head That make me paranoid on your shoulder while we walked along that vacant riverside. They carried me away to a place where I'll get older. If I cannot prove to them you never die. Seems like the last time. Feels like the first. Though I've had bad days, this has to be my
Billy Strings in studio here for an extended edition of Local Spins on WYC here, here on the Friday after Thanksgiving. The band will be performing tonight at the intersection. Should be a great show. Starts at 8 o'clock. They're definitely tickets still available. What can folks expect from tonight's show, Billy? Sweat and tears, blood, anger. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of fun, I'm assuming. Yes, lots of fun. Uh, I don't know. You, anything. Expect nothing. A roller coaster of emotions. Expect yes. nothing. Expect everything. Uh, I, I, stilts. Uh, ho- horns on fire. Uh, <laughs> no free pretzels at the door. I don't know. I don't know if they've got pretzels. You're right. Uh, so you've had an exceptionally busy 2017. What's going on for 2018 for Billy Strings and crew? More. Yeah. More crazy traveling and festivals and fun. And it's insane. Uh, lots of festivals yeah. next year. All the good ones that we want to be at, we're going to be at, and it's incredible. Well, thank you so much for making the trip, guys. This has been a pleasure to have you guys on board here for Local Spins at WYC. Uh, Rebecca Ruth has been kind enough to let me sort of elbow my way into part of her program, but she's up next, obviously, with an amazing afternoon of music as well. Good luck tonight, guys, and I hope to see a huge crowd at the intersection. Thank you, John, for having us, and Kyle Miller, happy birthday. I hope to see you tonight. I love you, Mom. Even though you're right out there in the other room. (laughs) All right, you're listening. Hi, Mom. (laughs) You're listening to WYC 88.1 FM. You got to say hi, Mom, when you're on TV or the radio. Oh, man, boy. That was was sweet. I love sitting in the middle of that. That uh, was good. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, that was awesome. It gets super heavy when we get pictures. It gets all... It gets all... I'm gonna get a picture of you guys. I'm gonna get in the, I'm gonna get in the middle of this one. Billy, he never does stop. He never stops, man.